Okay, my name is Gary Stamm, and I've been uh, reenacting Franklin Roosevelt for about 10 or 15 years and enjoy telling people his story, which is the story of our country. I, I currently live in the uh, Minneapolis area in Minnesota, but uh, it's always good to come back out to Long Island and, and other places to tell that story. My name is Luke G. Boyd. I'm a living historian who's been at this craft for about 15 years, and I've been playing Winston Churchill with the Museum of American Armor for about five or six years. Well, we're here to remind everybody how important the Cerebral War was in uh, shaping democracy for both our wonderful countries and, uh, and making the world what it is today. And I represent the uh, British side of the story. Uh, the United Kingdom was pummeled by Nazis and by the Blitz. And in uh, the 1940s, late 1930s, Winston Churchill made overtures to the president, the American President Roosevelt, for supplies, materiel, Many to times. aid in the war effort. And of course, the terrible attack at Pearl Harbor necessitated and helped cement that transatlantic relationship, which is so important to remember. And we give uh, Mr. Churchill credit. Uh, our military people wanted us to uh, do an invasion of France early in the war. It was Mr. Churchill said, we must wait, we must uh, establish bases, we must go through the underbelly of, of Europe first before we uh, are strong enough to invade. And indeed. indeed, I believe he was correct. I we like to think so. But as we knew, we would fight on the beaches and in the fields and in the streets, wherever we had to fight until the end. Well, I think we tend to forget the bad things that have happened in our history, feeling they'll go away forever. But unfortunately, if we don't keep history alive, we may tend to get into the same problems, make the same mistakes we did. So we have to know our history so we can avoid the bad history and just enjoy the good history. Indeed, there is much shared between our English-speaking peoples. We believe in largely the same religions, the same ideas, the same way of life. And it's important not only to remember our own national story, but that of our international brothers and sisters, to know that we are all related. Indeed.